Once in a while, an opportunity comes around to tell a great story, one that can make a difference to society at large. Tim Hines' new movie, 10 Days in a Madhouse, tells the story of Nellie Bly, the first investigative journalist in America, the woman whose undercover reporting led to the closure of a torturous mental health facility in New York. The story 10 Days in a Madhouse is important because it shows how a single individual with enough energy can make gigantic change. Uh, the story demonstrates how a 23-year-old uh, with virtually no money in her pocket went up against monumental indifference, monumental corruption, attracted the attention of the wealthiest uh, newspaper mogul on the planet, and succeeded. But there are opposing energies that try to convince people that you should sit back, you're not going to be able to make change, shut up and go and sit back in your chair and we'll take care of this. And this movie is going to help people to, to wake up and to see otherwise. The movie crew is in Salem, utilizing historic locations like the closed down Fairview Mental Hospital, harnessing real energy from this time period to tell a courageous story about the early treatment of mental health in America. She changed the mental health system. And had she not had the courage to go into that insane asylum, if she had not had the courage to go in and do that and bring light to that, conditions would have remained, I think, somewhat abhorrent. So she went in and she did something where she could have been killed doing it. She took such a risk and she was young and she understood it. So she did something for people who couldn't take care of themselves, who did not have a voice. And once you've lost your credibility and you're disenfranchised like that, it takes somebody from the outside coming in and making that type of difference, and she did. Nellie Bly could not turn a blind eye to anything, to any wrongdoing that she saw. She had to stick up for people, and she had to stick up for people that didn't have a voice. And I think that you see that all the time today, and I find myself doing it. So playing her, I've really found that it started to influence me to try and open my eyes and, and look instead of, no, oh, it'll, it'll be fine, I'm just gonna, just gonna ignore it, and, um, and to really make a change. We'd all have to go work very hard to become Nellie Bly, but, um, but she does a good, good impression, <laughs> let's put it that way. And it sounds like Nellie Bly had that unavoidable, almost contagious smile, and I do see the same. <laughs> it is true. The world needs way more people like Nellie Bly, and I think um, she really inspires me. It, she really does. So you think maybe Nellie's legacy can go on through this movie with the same exact result? To infinity and beyond. <laughs> In Salem, I'm Tim King reporting for SalemNews.com.